couple we of love hip hop for y'all. Because one of Drake's ops, the boy, the boss, oh, the boy Ross, he had a show not too long ago. Let me go back on No Jumpers page because that's where I found it. Balling like an athlete, but got no jumper. Ain't nothing going on in No Jumper right now. Ain't nobody care about no beef. Like somebody's got to literally like shoot somebody on camera for somebody to do some No Jumper coverage right now. But it says here on their page, fans are clowning Rick Ross for having a small crowd after dissing Drake. Now, that's narrative building once again. It doesn't necessarily mean that because you diss Drake that now you got a small crowd. All right? Yo, that's mud. That looks like a local Toronto show with... That looks like one of my shows back in the days. That looks like a Friday Ricky Dread show back in the days. Right? I might even got a couple more people. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> that looks... <sighs> Shaking it rough, bro. What is that? There must be more people in the back that we can't see. Gang, there... Off the frame over here where the comments are and the caption, there's a whole 2,000 other people right there. They're just not showing it on camera, okay? Don't let them fool you. <laughs> I try to say it with a straight face. But I think that this is not any way connected to, to Rick Ross, this and Drake. I think this is happening to Ross already, okay? There was footage of a Quavo show not too long ago. And everybody was like, is that real? Or is that like before the Quavo show? No, that was the actual amount of people that showed up for the Quavo show. And they were giving away free tickets for that show. When you see stuff like this, one, it's a testament to how much power Drake does have in the game because he's still packing out stadiums. But hip hop as a whole is just not packing out stadiums anymore like that. Okay? Um, who was it? JT from the City Girls. She was doing club gigs, small clubs, like lounges. Like she, she could stand up on the table and that's the stage. Like not a, a, a proper elevated stage where you can put a, bar a barrier in between. Like nah, like she's literally like right there at the bottle service performing. You know what I'm saying? Like bottle girls are tripping over her microphone cord and shit like while she's performing. So hip hop, it's just not there like that. You know what I'm saying? We can't look at the boss and be like, damn, bro. Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. And it's not like that. Wow, it was sponsored by Jack Daniels on top of that? Holy shit, Jack Daniels lost the bag. Boss. <laughs> <sighs> you see, if Drizzy was like in good spirits right now, if people weren't trying to take his head off, man could post something like this in his stories, be like, ha ha. It would be good content. I would love to see this in Champagne Poppy stories right now. Because this is a W. Like your ops don't even get that much, that much motion, bro. Like it's fine. It's not maybe not even worth responding to niggas like this if that's what they're packing up in a show. They say in a sound check, come on. Juicy hamburger, stop this. Please. Look how many there's way more people than they would allow in a venue for sound check. <laughs> There's people with their phones out. Don't do that. Don't do that. She see Kelly just took a picture right there. Okay, she, oh my god, it's Rick Ross. <laughs> and 
And why is he shouting himself out? Ricky Rose. He <sighs> The man is on song five, bro. Don't do that. DJ Chris A, what up? The man is on song eight on the on the playlist tonight. Okay. He's about to do Santorini Greece. And he might finish it off with a uh, BMF. <coughs> Tallahassee, good night, boss. Oh. This might be his last song. What is this? I'm not a star. He asked Wayne to come through. Wayne was like, mm, can't make it. Can't make it, Woody. I'll catch you on the next show, Wody. Yo, you could hear the echo in the venue. Holy. You know them ones there, gang? Where you could hear the reverb coming off of all the walls. There's not enough people in the venue to bring a density of the sound. Okay. It sounds exactly how the way it sounded at mic check because there is still nobody in the venue. So the way that the mic sounded in mic check was actually worked out because nobody showed up. You know what I'm saying? Engineer's happy. Ross ain't happy, but the engineer's like, sounds great. It's exactly how I planned it. Um, Hold on. This is a good comment right here. It says, I'm sorry, but nobody's bigger than Drake in the U.S., but Pac. Um, if we took it all the way, hold on. She's moving out the way. Sorry. Jesus Christ, comments are going crazy. Um, da -da -da, then Pac. If we took it all the way, um, took took away all Drake music and never heard of him, the rap game and pop music wouldn't be as lit as it was. And can't nobody say otherwise? That's facts. You see, this, this is the freaking problem. Niggas in the States ride for Drake harder, no diddy, than niggas over here in Toronto. It's despicable. It's actually disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I've heard more comments of people saying, nah, Drake good over here. Nah, don't believe the hype. The niggas from over here that were like, nah, fam, we love Drake over here in Toronto. Again, like I was telling Ak, this is why they call this place the Screwface Capital. Okay. Um. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.